Over the last 10 years I've worked with uh, DUP leaders and reached out to unionists on the basis of equality, uh, respect and reconciliation. And over this period the actions of the British government and the DUP, in my opinion, have grievously undermined the institutions and have eroded public confidence. So we in Sinn Féin will not tolerate the arrogance of Arlene Foster and the DUP. Sinn Féin wants equality and respect for everyone. And that's what this process must be about. So today I have told Arlene Foster that I have tendered my resignation uh, effective from five o'clock today. So I believe today is the right time to call a halt to the DUP's arrogance. Uh, we will not be re-dominating for the position of Deputy First Minister. Uh, my health has absolutely nothing to do with this whatsoever. I have been very deeply involved in all of the conversations in the course of recent weeks, not just with our negotiating team, but I was here last week speaking to Arlene Foster. Uh, I've been doing my job uh, as it is uh, appropriate for me to do so. So health has got absolutely nothing to do with it whatsoever. In fact, the Sinn Féin uh, Officer Board have met on this issue. The Sinn Féin Art Collier met in Dublin on Sunday evening. And the uh, recommendation to take this course of action was uh, made by me to the uh, Art Collier. And it's a recommendation I'm very pleased that the Art Collier have accepted. Well, I think anybody that knows the, the history of our relationships with the DUP, uh, particularly over the course of uh, recent years, and the different issues that have really raised all sorts of question marks about the DUP's behaviour, things like Red Sky, uh, Frank Kuznahan and NAMA, the, the LIFA decision, Despicable decision, the RHI, where something in the region of half a billion pounds, ran the risk of being squandered and left a process wide open to corruption. All of these things are hugely concerning for us in Sinn Féin. And you can see by the way the debate on RHI has continued over the course of recent times, there is a massive public outcry. There may not be a massive public private outcry within the ranks of the DUP, but as I told Arlene, the, the DUP and this issue are living in a bubble. They don't seem to understand how serious the general public, the voters of all the other parties in the Assembly uh, make of this ridiculous situation, which uh, b bears full responsibility for the ministers from the DUP who were effectively in charge. You also have to consider as well that one of the most preposterous situations that I envisaged in the course of recent times was the refusal of both the British government and the DEP to grant the funds on request from the Lord Chief Justice on outstanding uh, inquests. Total failure on dealing with the legacy issue aspect of the Fresh Start Agreement. And I have told both the DEP and the British government that I believe that both of them have colluded to frustrate a way forward in relation to that. Well, for a start, I, whether or not I will be a candidate, that's something I will speak to you about at a later date today, is about my resignation. You used the term that the DUP think this will be a return to the status quo. There will be no return to the status quo, except on terms that are acceptable to Sinn Féin. The situation uh, that we've been dealing with in the course of recent years is unacceptable. I have now called a halt to DEP arrogance. And if the DEP think in the aftermath of an election that they're going to step back into ministerial positions short of resolving the critical issues, some of which I have identified during the course of this conversation, then they're living in a fool's paradise.